Hello everyone, welcome to TEW 2016 Let's Play of WCW NWO Episode 6 of 1997. Of course, I'm your host, as always, Max here. And of course, the locker room incidents here on Nitro. Oh shit. Please, God, don't kill him. Don't beat him up, please. <laughs> Tired of just being shitty to Kidman. Mocking him for his shitty little push. Oh man. Slap on the wrist. Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I had the match all booked. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll just remove this segment. I'll add it in later. Also, once we deal with this, I uh, finally released Public Enemy. That happened. Figured it was about damn time. As I mean, they were just going to be jobbers, and what's the point if they're just going to make everyone else pissed off at them? For being shitty, for being on drugs. But I will add that tag match back. Let's see, teens, vicious and delicious versus the Steiners, I f oh man, let's see, make that, uh, I kind of want Steiner to get the win over Scott Norton, and then just open all out. Was a distraction by Teddy Biasi on Buff. Oh no, on Scott Norton, and then interference by Lex Luger. There we go. Mm. Let's put the tag belt on line just to do it. Fuck it. Pump it down there. Alright. So let's run the show. I forget where we were at. Ah, we're at the Wells Fargo Arena. In the Midwest. Awesome. Here we go. Now, I'll set this for a minor angle so this should not count against us. Hopefully. Then this was just the recap video for the end of uh, last week's Nitro with the uh, big sting reveal. Being the, uh, the dummy and beating up everyone besides Hogan and Eric Bischoff who are on the outside just like, oh god. Oh no. Then this, uh, this was just a strip NWO just promo on everyone, on Sting, on Bret Hart, on DDP, shit on everyone. Oh, well, a couple people did well, going off script. What was it, 81? Yeah, this match was on, uh, the pre-show of Saturday night. And they have good chemistry together, so figured why not just do it again here on Nitro. With Mortis picking up the win. Sub subpar wrestling. A bit of heat, that's fine, but it was a 61. So I'll take that. And then this was just a hype video for Kevin Nash versus the Giants at Starcade. Then this fucking match. I've probably played this match probably a thousand times on WCW and W Revenge. And a uh, tag match between Rey Mysterio Jr., all about Dragon, Dragon on Hoovy, and Psychosis. Hoovy got the win, 450 splash on the Ultimate Dragon. Psychosis was the weak link. That sucks. We need to find someone else to put in the tag match, I guess. Oh, I thought Psychosis was pretty awesome. We're going to find another cruise weight. Then just a uh, Raven promo from like. 
a shitty little. But he, he always used to say from the Bowery, but like we can do it from like a backstage segment. It's this shitty little area. This, I figured, just have another Wrath fucking squash, kinda. On the right trailer. Yeah, it was kind of a back and forth match. I don't think it was a squash. I think it was just a, a brawl. Let me double check. Yep, okay, yep, it was a wild brawl. 58. This is just the, uh, one of those NWO paid announcements. Just shitting on Roddy Piper. Which, that will be probably the last time we see Roddy Piper, because uh, his two-week notice is almost up. He's got two days left. Then, uh, just a Goldberg fucking squash. Baiting Glacier. 70 in-ring performance by Goldberg. Fuck yes. It's a 55, that's not bad. And then, um, after the match, Mean Gene tries to interview him, and Goldberg just fucking walks away. Like, he's trying to be like, what are your thoughts on the match? What are your thoughts on, you know, Steve McMichael challenging you out? He just walks away from him, doesn't say anything. Which, got a 67, I mean, you had Goldberg right on Menace, and was... Damn, I wish I know what Gene Oakland was based on. I figured this match would be fucking awesome, but I made it a technical classic. Yeah, r wrong place for the match, but still got a 59. I should have just done Steal the Show. Malenko, Regal. Uh, Regal won with the Regal stretch after Eddie, like, attacked Malenko with, like, a chair. Referee didn't see it somehow. It was like a ref bump. <laughs> a technical classic. And then here... Is the uh, Bret Hart press conference slash contract signing just kind of answering questions from the, and that, a legitimate press, uh, kind of shitting on the NWO, saying, you know, I left the fucking bullshit, the politics from WWF getting screwed in my hometown to a real organization in WCW. And uh, yeah, this one, a pretty good long segment. This was like 10 minutes. Third, yep, ten minutes. Just uh, I, you, a legitimate press. Like this is a big fucking deal. Like <laughs> this would be like at, uh, I guess at CNN, uh, at the fucking tower. For uh, like Ted Turner's there and everyone. I mean, it's a big fucking deal. Oh, and this match I got a seventy-five. That's awesome. Steiner brothers kicked fucking ass. Oh, that sucks. They have great chemistry together. Because I'm probably going to split them. Fuck. I love Big Papa Pump, though. I got <laughs> He's got to be on his own. Awesome match. Didn't think it'd be that good, honestly. Thought Buff would kind of bring it out, but Scott Orton, Orange Performer. And here, J.J. Dillon. Because, uh, you know, Buff Bagwell, he screwed Lex Luger out of a, a match against him. It was like DQ. And kept on calling him out. Luger came in and helped that tag match out. Beating up Bagwell, you know. J.J. Dillon's like, that's enough. We're going to have a winner between these two guys at Starcade. It's going to be no DQ, no count out. There must be a winner. And then another uh, NWO paid announcement. This one's on Ric Flair. It's just everyone, just whoever beat the shit out of Ric Flair. Oh, the Hogan, Kurt Hitting. Nash, Savage, Scott Hall, all of them. But in the main event, for the U.S. title, as well, Kurt Inning, or Ric Flair beat Kurt Inning, rather, excuse me, while um, Kurt Inning was disqualified because the NWO ran in and just beat the shit out of Flair mid-match, and the referee rung the bell, threw the match out. 75, though, I'm surprised. I thought that'd be a little bit better. And that was the man. That was the, uh, that was Nitro. Got a 77. One of our better ones. And show increased 18, but lost in 8. I'm assuming that's America. But I'm not sure. I guess, uh, no, we won't have to find out. That, that'll just be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Episode 6, we'll see you next time for Episode 7.